Yeah, my name is Lonnie Dupree, and my goal is to um, climb Denali and try to summit it in January solo. I think mean, this won't work. Sweet. This is a pole I'll be taking on the trip to keep me out of crevices. So it's a black spruce pole. They usually got really tight growth rings, and when they're dead standing like that, they're pretty strong. We use them in Minnesota for uh, poles for supporting tarps. That'll make me feel a little more like at home dragging this versus a two by four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what do you think seeing that mountain? <laughs> yeah, I just hope it stays just like that for a month. The weather coming in in a few days, so just gonna try to get me to the mountain today. A little nervous right now, just getting everything situated. It's and that's what you have to live off of. I can stretch it out to 45 days if I have to. It's a, it's a personal challenge that I I thought it'd be better than sitting around watching TV. And <laughs> yeah, you guys shouldn't be watching me. You should be out camping, winter camping or something. But uh, no, I just uh, I just like uh, it's just for something to do. Yeah, and uh, I've been doing this kind of stuff my whole life, and it's it's uh, I, it's good for me to get out of my comfort zone. Do you know what I mean? And and just uh, try to uh, ex experience new things. It gives me time to train and test gear and that kind of stuff. At times, it sounds almost downright miserable. Well, it can be, but I've been doing this long enough where um, I try not to get miserable, and I dress and eat properly, and I have good, really good equipment. So if you, it's a combination of those things, taking care of yourself, having the right equipment, and not over, not overdoing it. And uh, how old are you? Mm, I'm 53, so it's um, a little harder to stay warm. So I got a, a couple extra, I got an extra pair of long underwear in there. <laughs> Actually, it's a big down suit. <laughs> a really big pair. A really wow. big pair. Everybody feeling it? Oh, yeah, ready? Yeah. Ready to spend the night together? All huddled up? We're all going to get really there close. <laughs> you got the butterflies, you know, but having butterflies is good because uh, that, that little bit of nervousness keeps you alive, right? Here we go. Can you talk about uh, what you're going to do differently on the mountain this year? Uh, what I'm what I'm doing differently this year is um, I'm uh, taking a tent here so I can camp up uh, up high above 14,000 because it's very hard to dig snow caves or snow shelters up there and uh, the tent is small enough to fit on ledges and stuff so that's okay for the west buttress but uh, um, I'm taking an extra sleep bag that I can take up high it's a little warmer I'm taking a down suit. Uh, the other thing is I changed up my diet a little bit, a little higher protein and, and uh, stuff that's more palatable so I can uh, actually eat it when I get up high because you lose your appetite when you get up high in elk. Um, and uh, I'm taking a, uh, a, a, different, a different type of thermos. It's a little bigger for holding water and that stuff. What have you learned for the most part on this, uh, these expeditions? Uh, you need patience, but uh, really you just need patience with the weather because uh, my kit's been pretty good though each time that I went. I just basically fine-tuning it a little bit, but putting the weather that's really held me back. Uh, once you get up high, you just can't take any chances going from uh, 17 to the summit unless the weather's good. So you're feeling good about this year so far? Feeling better than you have in years past or about the same or how are you feeling? Well, my first year was the most successful project because I made it to 17, like he split, feeling great. And uh, and then there was nothing but uh, wind up high and I couldn't move, so I stayed at 17 camp for six days. And uh, of course you run out of food and supplies after that, so you can't sit there indefinitely because you also atrophy a little bit being up in else. So I had to come down. Oh yeah, no shortage.
shortage of snow. This is the cache of when I return. I have some food and fuel. Does it feel good to be here? Yeah, it's a lot of prepped. Two years of prep, prep work. You know, took a year off, so it was a lot of preparation. Long time coming. Yeah. Are you even thinking about the challenge ahead, or just one thing at a time? Yeah, I never think. I never think past day one. I just do one day at a time. This is my job, it's just like going to work, right? Only I like it. Can you tell me about these skis? Yeah, these are yellow birch. They're uh, uh, yellow birch uh, from, a, from a tree uh, off my property in Grand Marais. And uh, yellow birch is pretty darn strong. You made these? Yep, I made these. I steam bent them and uh, carved them in my shop and put a little camber on them. And... Yeah, polar bears like cold places and penguins. And... We all like cold places, even the people that don't like cold places because it's good for the planet. How's that thing pulling okay? There's a lot of snow here, but it looks like the glacier is going to be better. So I'm uh, excited about that. Looks like it'd be a little more uh, wind packed. So I don't have to worry about bucking through all this snow. I'm going to try to concentrate on just getting down to the glacier uh, tonight and camp. While I still got some usable light. This will be almost a month long. Yeah, it'll be a month if all goes good. If I get storm after storm, though, it could be a month and a half. If everything's great, it could be three weeks. But you never know with Denali, right? <laughs> I've learned not to uh, not to uh, get uh, think too far ahead. It okay. shut me down uh, three times in the past, so um, it's all it's all about the weather, so. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. One step at a time. One step at a time.